It's Friday, December 23rd, 2022, and this is the Washington Times front page. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. Officials acknowledge a massive surge of illegal immigration awaits at the end of the Title 42 border policy, but the White House has suggested blame for the issue lies elsewhere. Stephen Dynan reports the White House pointed to global upheavals pushing people to leave their homes, smugglers peddling misinformation to entice migrants to travel to the United States, and Republicans who keep saying President Biden has left the border open to them once they get here. Title 42 was set to expire Tuesday. A last-second stay by Chief Justice John Roberts delayed that. He said the court needed to see arguments by Republican-led states that are trying to stop the end of Title 42. The Biden administration has joined forces with immigrant rights activists to demand the court allow the policy to expire as soon as next week. Speaking of the Supreme Court, taxpayers' privacy rights hang in the balance in a case challenging the IRS's authority to examine financial documents in third-party investigations. Alex Sawyer reports the challenge questions whether an individual who isn't the subject of an IRS probe must be given notice when their financial records and dealings are reviewed in the investigation of another taxpayer. Groups concerned about government accountability say the legal battle has major privacy implications for individuals, especially the Biden administration's plan to increase enforcement at the IRS. It took four justices to vote in favor of hearing the dispute, but a date for oral arguments has yet to be scheduled. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. Religion reporter Mark Kellner sits down with actor David Suchet, known for his role in Agatha Christie's Poirot, but also known for his voice. The 76-year-old actor recently completed three nights as the narrator for the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square's annual Christmas concert in Salt Lake City, Utah. The Mormon Church-based program featured the story of the late Sir Nicholas Winton, a British banker who organized the transport of 669 Jewish children from Czechoslovakia to England at the start of World War II. Suchet said he considers his audio reading of the Bible done by a British publisher in 2014 to be the legacy that he would like to leave the world. And finally, sparked by a string of fatal rabies cases this year, South African health officials have a message for visitors, stay away from stray dogs. Officials at the country's Department of Agriculture issued a warning this month not to touch stray dogs. While South Africa has a good record when it comes to vaccinating for rabies, deaths still occur, mostly in children. In 2021, at least 12 South Africans died from the disease, and with a 3,000-mile land border, it's proved difficult to control the movement of animals from neighboring countries, such as Mozambique and Zimbabwe. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Watch Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo, wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas.